it is 11 o'clock and that is me just trying to wake up ready to get up and get ready for the day just opened a red bull um i said in one of my videos before i left my ketone drinks at home which really really helped me like with my energy levels and to wake up and left them behind and i'm so cross so i'm having a red bull every morning which is not great but i'm on holiday so it's fine i'm actually feeling really really rubbish today my kind of got loads of health issues as everyone probably knows but my joints are really sore today and i've had really bad chest pain and um, actually woke up with it in the night and had to take painkillers and you can probably tell i'm feeling quite breathless so this video is not going to be very long but i'm hoping if i get up and get something to eat and just lie by the pool um it will all start to ease i've got so many meds with me so i'm ready for any eventuality but i'm just really hoping this chest pain and breathlessness passes because if it doesn't i'm just gonna have to come back and stay in bed all day which i would rather not do it looks like it's really nice and sunny today so fingers crossed i'll make it out and get some sun Today has been so chilled so far. I obviously really wasn't feeling well when I woke up, but I just took things really, really easily, went up to the rooftop and some bathing area, just chilled there for a bit, mostly in the shade, reading my book. And kind of came to lunchtime, my dad went and got me some cold meats and cheese from the supermarket with Haribo's and crisps. <laughs> the best lunch ever and then we ended up having a couple of cocktails and I felt much better after I'd just kind of eaten and woken up a bit so we've now come back to the rooms we were just on our balconies our rooms are next door to each other so we were just talking over our balcony there and um, talking about where we might go next year for our October holiday I think we're going to make this a, a yearly thing which will be really nice and I've just poured myself a glass of Prosecco there's like a tree coming out of my head there That's good angle um, but yeah, glass of Prosecco. I only had two cocktails today so far, so this is fine. And like I said in my other videos, Prosecco for me in the shower is just my holiday thing. People don't understand it at all, but it's just, for me, that's just what makes me feel like I'm on holiday because I would never do that at home. Um, so yeah, I'm still not decided if I'm gonna wash my hair. It needs washed, but because I was feeling so bad this morning, I'm not sure if I should use up all my energy washing it and drying it and stuff or not. I really don't know, I probably won't decide till I walk in the shower, but if I have time before we go out, I'm going to do a unboxing of a new lip combo kit that I bought before I left. It was actually the red lip that I had on when I showed you all the Vespa dress, I think two vlogs ago, and I've had quite a few comments on it, so I really want to do an unboxing for that. It's one of my favourite beauty brands that I don't think are kind of rated enough. There's not enough people talking about them and posting about them. I have spent an absolute fortune on their stuff. I've never worked with them. It's all been me buying it and I just love it all. So fingers crossed I'm gonna have time to do that because I'm checking the time on my phone. I've got 45 minutes to go for dinner, so that should be fine. If I wash my hair, maybe not. If I don't, then I'll have time. But either way, I'll see you soon. So I've decided to not wash my hair tonight because time is tight and we're only going to the buffet so I can just pick it up. I'm going to try my new ritual set and um, the body scrub is the one that I really really wanted to try but there's the foaming shower gel and the body cream as well. They smell so so good so I can't wait to try them out. This is what the foaming shower gel looks like. It smells so good and just look it lathers up incredibly. And honestly, the smell is so good, I feel like I'm in a spa right now. This is what the body scrub looks like. Look at that. So, so good. I'm going to try this on my leg now. Again, the smell is incredible. And I know that's going to get all the horrible dead skin off after sunbathing all day. And it really does feel like a spa treatment. I can safely say the foaming shower gel and body scrub are unbelievable. I used the shower gel first and it foams up, as you probably saw in the video, and then the scrub just felt so luxurious. It was really, really grainy, so I felt like it got all of the dead skin off of my body, but it must be filled with oils as well. Like I didn't actually look at the ingredients, I probably should, but when I've come out, I'm going to try and 
one-handed my skin just feels really really like nourished and moisturized which is unusual after a scrub so i'm really really impressed i'm going to use my usual dior after sun balm but i'm going to keep the the balm that matches the red set just for my hands i think and maybe just like any extra bits before i go out maybe my shoulders and things but i think the after sun balm is going to be more beneficial just now so slight change of plan for me. I came out of the shower and I felt my heart start racing and it skips beats. I put my Apple watch on and it was over 160 beats per minute, my heart rate. So I did my usual lie on the floor, legs up in the air for ages to get it back down. It's now sitting 107, which isn't great. So all my good ideas of makeup and stuff tonight has gone out the window. I've just put my hair in a bubble. I shoved earrings in because that always makes me feel better. Put some colour on my cheeks and that is it. This eyelash needs fixed and I don't have the energy. So we're going to go for a buffet dinner and I'll probably be straight home to bed afterwards. This is the joys of living with POTS, which is one of the many health conditions I've got. And it's not fun, but I'm learning to manage it, which I think is really important. But it's hit me today and changed all my plans, but that's okay because tomorrow will definitely be a today. After my POTS attack earlier, I managed to go for dinner with my dad and we took the wheelchair. Now, for dinner every other night on holiday, I've walked down because I've been okay. But tonight we had to take the wheelchair and that was fine. And my dad was really good. He wheeled me around the buffet to see what there was. And then he kind of asked me what I wanted and went and got me everything, which was really lovely. And then because we are half bored, we're meant to pay for drinks with dinner apart from water. And I always get a glass or two of carver and ordered my carver. And then the waiter looked at the wheelchair and he said, what's, what's wrong with you? He said, did you hurt yourself? And I just explained all the things I've got wrong with me. And then he took the piece of paper away and said, you're not paying tonight. So he bought me carver and then he bought me another one um, for free, which was really, really kind. And I was feeling so rubbish at the time that I actually nearly cried because it was so lovely. <laughs> But yeah, that was really, really nice. So dinner was really, really good. And obviously the carver was the bonus. My dad and I planned to go for a big long walk along the front after dinner, but obviously with my heart not being great, we decided to stay a bit closer to the hotel. And we just went for a wander and it's really, really nice to just go about. It's hilarious because <laughs> The drop curves here, there's maybe a drop curve one side, but not the other side. And some of the pavements are so bumpy. We joked that I'd probably broken five teeth and <laughs> dislocated three joints, but it was just a laugh. And we ended up back in the shop that I went to yesterday where I bought the ritual set and I bought the hair and body spray, which I will show you tomorrow because I'm too tired to move just now. But it was just a really, really nice night. I actually feel better now than I have all day even though my heart rate's still telling me it's over 100, which is not good. But we came back to the hotel and we watched another episode of Game of Thrones and I cried because it's season one, episode two. If you know, you know, it's really, really sad. I cried and yeah, now I'm gonna go to sleep, which is never good after you've had a good cry, but I've got some chocolate next to the bed. So I think I might have a tiny bit of chocolate and go to sleep. But fingers crossed tomorrow is a better day and my heart decides, decides to like play ball and let me have a good day because I think tomorrow is going to be cloudy, in which case we will probably go for like a longer walk slash adventure with the wheelchair. But we'll see. Either way, today has obviously my heart wasn't great, but it's actually been a really, really good day. So can't complain. And now I'm off to bed.